we've got news about cameras. Now, last yeah. week we talked about the leaks and pre-release information about the GoPro Hero 11 and the DJI Osmo Action. Now they've come out, and we can yes. talk about them. Yeah, we can make sure we yeah we cover them. So the Hero 11 Black Mini, we'll say real quick, did not come out on time. That's going to come out October the 25th. We were hoping it was be like day and date release. So that'll mm -hmm. come out at some point later. But yeah, so we've got the Hero 11 Black, got the Hero 11 Black Mini, and we've got the Osmo Action 3 kind of <coughs> all in the lineup. Um, so I guess we could quickly look at maybe the Hero 11 and just talk about, you know, the new features on that. So the yeah. couple of new things they've done, um, it's a new bigger sensor. And it's eight mm -hmm. by seven. I think that to me is the most interesting thing is they've changed the sensor format, right? Yeah, and eight by uh, seven is not a standard. I'm trying to see an example of that. Here's the aspect ratio. Eight by seven is not a standard aspect ratio uh, in in film or anything, as far as I know. We've got four three. We've got sixteen nine. The point of the eight by seven sensor is that it allows you to crop vertically if you choose to use a vertical field of view for social. It allows you to crop horizontally if you need to do that. It just gives you a lot of flexibility and it gives you a wider vertical uh, vertical field of view for stabilization, which improves stabilization. Is that, a, is that about right? Yeah, that's about right, yeah. And it's, and it's also got, you know, it's not only it's got, um, I think they're calling it, um, what's it? Not Hypersmooth. Hypersmooth 5.0 is the new version of Hypersmooth. Mm -hmm. But they've also got um, Hyperview, which mm -hmm. is their new version of Superview, which is, you know, like we talked about, there's that more room for vertical stabilization. And mm -hmm. it seems to use that so that it warps the picture a little less when, it, when it's doing stuff. So, yeah. Now, one of the features that the Hero 11 Black is, is reported to have that separates it from the Hero 10 is 10 bit yeah. color. And if People uh, don't know, the, the short version is that if you do a lot of aggressive color grading, then having 8-bit color can be limiting and 10-bit color gives you more flexibility to do aggressive. So more for professionals than hobbyists, but professionals, they want that 10-bit color and it hurts them to not get it. Uh, there was a post by Sander Sassen, not, no, I'm sorry, Sander Sassen replied to the post. He was participating in the thread and he gave me some information about it. They, there was a post saying that 10-bit was not available like in any of the 4.3 aspect ratios. It was only available in some of the 16.9 aspect ratios and was yeah. not available at the higher frame rates. Like he says, clients want 120 FPS so that they have the option to ramp down the speed, for example. And he was like, yeah, this was, is useless to me. Yeah, it seems like it was limited. And I assume that's because something about the sensor sampling maybe or something about the, yeah, the ability of the... Um, of the CPU, you know, there's like whatever ASIC they have in there, you know, we don't know how really powerful it is. So mm -hmm. there's been a lot of talk about like how much they can actually sample and how, if they're cheating a little bit and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah it's interesting to see, um, yeah, the movements, but it'll be, inter it's also interesting to see the caveats there. One thing we could say as well, you know, um, the 10 bit <laughs> color was an advertised feature for the Action 3, which we'll talk about in a second, but mm -hmm. the Action 3 unfortunately did not get that uh, at release. There's talk of it being in a software update at some point in the future, but that does separate the Hero 10 as well as the sensor shape and other things, right? Yeah. Um, separates. I, it, so. I, I mean, I think the Hero 3, uh, no, sorry, not the Hero, the Hero, the Action 3. For me, the Action 3 has been co completely eclipsed in almost every way by the Hero 11. So uh, we don't have a link to this. I kind of wish we did, but it's a little late now. Potato Jet, people probably know who Potato Jet is. If you don't, you should. His review of the Hero 11 and the Action 3, I watched a bunch of reviews. His was amazing. And one of the things he did that really stood out was he took side-by-side -side footage of the two cameras and he showed the footage to his friends, fil filmmakers and cinematographers, and he had them blind react to it without knowing which camera was which. And so they're saying things like, hmm, the sky looks more detail on the left. Uh, there's more noise on the right. And, and then at the end, he reveals which one's which. And I thought it was one of just the – and he does all kinds of lighting conditions, all kinds of different things. And I thought it was a really, really great way to highlight the differences in those cameras. But long story short – the hero just wrecked the Osmo in almost every uh, situation, except low light. The Osmo had more detail because of a larger sensor, but also more image noise. So, yeah, I, I don't know. The Osmo is a little cheaper, but 
Well, I think one of the wrenches in that, like, I agree with you, but there is at least some benefit in price. Uh, it depends on, though, how it works out with the replacements and with the subscription plans and how many GoPros you have and stuff. But uh, it is interesting that the Action 3 comes in at 329 GoPro is 399 mm-hmm. with the with the subscription. But the um, Mini is going to be 300 Right, and the Mini is going to be 300 which I think is kind of where the wrench gets thrown in, right? Because it's hard to imagine that there's... I don't know how many people still want the screen, but still want to pay seventy dollars less for what seems like an inferior camera. And like, yeah, I don't know that the Action Three really has a niche. You know, I mean, I'm I, not I sure agree, where it falls. I, and I yeah. don't know. It's tough for me to know how much of this is me being a professional and having a different perspective on budgeting than a hobbyist. Yeah. But it feels like by the time you're spending three hundred and twenty whatever dollars on an action camera. To then say you're going to spend four hundred dollars ish on a much better action camera, it's a twenty five percent so whatever twenty five percent difference. Okay, it's a big difference, but yeah. I just or, it's or such a better camera. Or thirty dollars less for a better action camera that's lighter and also doesn't have screens on it that you can break. Yeah, which I think so. to me is where it really dies. Like I think that like if if we weren't seeing the Hero Eleven Black Mini. I still think there might be a lower price bracket world where people, you know, it's like, you know, 20 or 30% cheaper, whatever it works out to. So there is some, I think there's some world there where people would be down with that. But uh, yeah, I, I just think Hero 11 Black Mini is going to kill that market that it would have. Yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah. Well, that's not out for another month or so. It's October twenty fifth. Um, so, but but I'm 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 tem- I'm I'm really torn on whether to buy a Hero Eleven today and try it out, or whether to wait for the Mini. Probably going to wait for the Mini. Um, yeah. Oh, one one other thing that that uh, came up uh, talking about the ten bit output is it's only I think it's one twenty megabits per second, and uh, right now w- what Sander was saying is that he shoots four three. So you get that wide aspect ratio for the stabilization. He shoots 4.3. They want high resolution, like 4,000 by 3,000 resolution, so that they can crop in a little bit with the stabilization and not lose pixels. They want 120 FPS, and they want 200 megabits per second, which you can get with a GoPro Labs firmware. And he was like, basically, the 10-bit color is not, it's not usable because he can't get those other things that he wants. And he's like, there's no reason for me to buy the 11 over the 10. Which I was like, wow, that's a really, like, I, I, I mentioned him by name because that's just not a perspective that I have as I look at the camera. Yeah. So, um, very very yeah. interesting. Um, okay. Uh, well, uh, if you want to know more about those cameras, go watch Potato Jet's review. It's the best. Um, that's what I'd say. Not right now. Stay here. Watch the news. But... I, yeah. I want, I'm excited to try the 8.7 aspect ratio and just see what a wide square aspect ratio kind of looks like for FPV. I, I think it's got some potential to be interesting. Yeah. Uh, all right. All right. 